G'day Throttlers, welcome back to the channel. Now, I have a confession to make. I've been on a bunch of rides lately and I haven't filmed them for you. Now, it's not that I haven't filmed them, I've started filming them, but each time I've just felt the need to enjoy the ride on my own and not have to think about camera angles and what I want to say and what I want to show. I just really wanted to get out there old school and enjoy riding without the thought of social media other than a few Instagram photos. But in this video guys, I do need to feed that YouTube algorithm beast. So I'm going to give you a updated review on the Shoei Glamster, but I do want you to stick around to the end folks. I have a really nice package that's just arrived and I know what's inside it and I want to share it with you. Uh, made for me by a very talented lady in Victoria and uh, I've already seen them online. I'm very excited. I hope you love them too. Anyway, stick around. We'll quickly talk about the Shoei Glamster and then we'll get on to my mail time and we'll get into the nuts and bolts of this secret little package sitting down here. All right, team, so an update on the Shoei Glamster retro helmet that I've bought probably, what was it, a month or so ago, maybe a couple of months. Now, there's some good things and bad things about this helmet, and I want to share them both, but to be completely honest, the bad things aren't really that bad. Um, firstly, I've loved every minute of it. I really, really like it. Uh, it's such a lightweight, good-looking helmet. Um, I was impatient. I ended up getting matte black. Um, I wanted the grey one, but they were going to be another three to six months until they were arriving in Australia. And I was impatient and wanted the helmet. So I got the matte black. Uh, I still love the look at it, but I still prefer the look of the grey. Now, lightness. So light on my head. It's one of the nicest helmets that I've ever worn uh, from a comfort point of view, especially a, a long-term comfort. Having it on your head for a couple of hours, you really feel like it's not there because it's so light. Really love that. Internal comfort, fantastic. I've installed the Cena 10C on here and this is where my only gripe with this helmet lays. Now inside, when you install a communication system, obviously you, you have to put speakers in where your ears sit in the helmet. Now in a normal modern helmet, the recess for these speakers is quite large, so they sit in and they don't affect the helmet too much at all. In here, because it's a retro styled helmet, you just can't get very deep into uh, the recesses. I'm trying to get light on there. I don't really know if I'm getting it, but the speakers are just here and because of the size of the speakers and the lack of depth of the recess, the speakers do sit on your ears rather than into the helmet. Now, on a normal day ride, that's not necessarily a big problem. But on a lot of the rides I do, I'll be on and off the bike, helmet on and off, over a period of eight to 10 hours within a day. And this is where my ears, I haven't got the smallest ears, but they get hot and irritated just by dragging the speaker across the ears as I'm putting the helmet on and off. Now I do believe you can get a slimline speaker for the Cena communication systems. Um, I had a look at it and I couldn't find any genuine ones. I could only find third party ones. And to be honest, I'm a little bit burnt from my experiences with eBay and ordering stuff uh, that I don't want to order some cheap rubbish to install. So I'm persevering with the speakers that come with the 10C. Um, they work fantastic. The only thing I'm doing now, I'm going to be wearing like a head scarf to hold my ears in while I'm putting my helmet on and off. And that'll stop me from getting helmet hair. Um, but of course, it will also protect my ears from grazing across the speakers all the time. Now, that is literally the only downside to the Shoei Glamster, in my opinion. Um, 
I'm going to be installing a pin lock in it because it does fog up a little bit because there's not a lot of ventilation through here. Um, there's a little bit of ventilation that comes in through the front, up through these holes onto your visor. It's such a small amount of breeze and there's a little bit that can come across your forehead to go around the back of your head but there is no exit point. So it's not a free flowing air although it does breathe still. But I have no regrets. I absolutely love this helmet. I highly recommend anyone interested in the Shoei Glamster to at least go and put it on your head in a shop. Uh, and it's, it's great. I would buy it again. And I'm even considering buying the, the similar shape version with the, um, the open face or the uh, motocross style version because I love it so much. I really love the feel. And, uh, and the lightness of it. So for me, the Shoei Glamser is a big thumbs up. If you're putting communications in it, uh, I would urge you to do a bit more investigation for yourself to make sure it's the right helmet for you. I guess most people buying a retro helmet probably aren't putting communications in it. The reason I do obviously is because I moto vlog a lot and I use this audio and this footage on occasions as well. So the Shoei Glamster, massive thumbs up from me. Uh, it's an absolute winner. I love it. All right, before I get into the really exciting package, I've got a couple of small things that I've received in the last two weeks, which I haven't shared with you yet. So I'm going to quickly share that now. If you saw my sunrise video on YouTube a few weeks ago when I was down the coast, you'll see that I've got all these great stickers from Home Bees. Well, I'm going to install them onto the cupboard and uh, so they can be sitting there at all times with all of my other great people that are sitting on my cupboard. And I was also very lucky enough to receive a little package from Moto G Spot. I've talked about Moto G Spot before, very cool guy. But he sent me a whole bunch of stickers and cards and uh, I will also be installing them on the uh, cupboard as well very shortly. Now you may have noticed that over the COVID experience that we've had in the world, my beard's come on a little bit. Rather than just having the goatee on the front, uh, I've put a little bit more length in the front, but the sides coming on as a bit of a beard. And now someone's noticed this and has sent me a beard care pack. Now, this is another one of those packages that has been sent without anyone telling me who it was. So I'm not sure who it was, but if you're watching this, I thank you very much. Inside this, there's a little bag, brush, comb, beard soap, beard cleaner, and beard oil. For all of you beardies in the world, you'll know that this is all the good stuff to keep your beard nice and healthy. So thank you, whoever the mystery person was that sent me the beard stuff. I do appreciate it very much and it will go to good use and try and make my beard look all nice and glossy for the camera whenever I'm on. Now, there is a gentleman in Western Australia called Ice Spike. Now, Ice Spike is a very unique character indeed. But what I really love about Ice Spike is I love his uniqueness. I think anyone who's unique is a winner in my book. He rides a massive Harley Davidson trike. He's a member of a lot of trike societies. But what he's doing really well is he's creating a moto community, uh, motorcycles, trikes and drones, a community on YouTube and Facebook where he does a few live streams a week. Now, his live streams are probably like a, let's say like a, a radio station. So he talks to the audience, he delivers a lot of music, um, it's fun and games, a whole lot of fun stuff. He interviews people. Personally, I really love what he's doing. So, the moment that he put out some merchandise, I had to get some. So, Ice Spike, if you're watching this, mate, your T-shirt arrived. A bit of Ice Spike action on the front there, and there's the handsome devil on the back. That's Ice Spike. He's got a few different versions. This is film. Filmmaker Biker Live, he's, he's got a few different versions of this, but if you haven't checked out Ice Bike yet, go and check him out. Uh, he's highly entertaining, a little bit crazy, but we love crazy, 
and uh, give him some support and tell him that I sent you across. Anyway, let's whack this on before I go and open the special package. There you go, ice fight, mate. Fits perfectly. What a ripper. Everywhere I go, you've got my back, Ice Spike. Mate, I, I really like your gear, and uh, congratulations on your growth, and I look forward to seeing you grow faster and faster. And to be honest, mate, I have a little bit of a feeling you'll be overtaking me in the not too distant future. And as soon as I open those borders, I'm coming over to have a cuppa with you. All right, let's get into this final package. Oh yeah. All right, I don't even know where to start. So, let's give you a little bit of a background while I'm opening this. There is a YouTube channel called Biker Bits Australia. And if you haven't checked it out, check it out. The gentleman that runs it is a bloke called Mark. And he does like a Man Cave Tuesday. So it's pretty much every Tuesday night, he puts out a video that's talking about everything that he did during the week, whether it be renovating his house, customising his motorcycle, um, creating business. But his wife has a wood shop and she makes these very, very interesting signs out of timber. And I thought I'd drop them a message and ask them if there's any chance that they'd be able to make something for me. And Naomi, Naomi Williams, was very kind. She said, yeah, that sounds like a good challenge. I'll get it done. Now, I didn't hear much for a little while. Um, I know she's really busy because there's a lot of stuff every week you see on the videos when Mark goes into the wood shop. She's got signs like on shelves and on tables and she's got so much going on because she's so good at it. Now, I received an email it was only like two or three days ago and said, your signs are ready, do you like them? Yes. And just five minutes ago, they arrived at my doorstep and I am excited. So let's open it up. All right, tell me what you think. Pretty good, hey? I absolutely love them. Now, this is made out of timber. Initially, she started making signs out of used uh, pallets, but there's been so much d demand for her work that she's obviously buying uh, new timber now, but it's beautifully clear coated. It's been distressed, so it looks like a bit of an older sign. It doesn't look brand new, and I absolutely love it. Really, really nice. Now what's even more exciting is I got one for the garage wall, but I also got one for the office wall, exactly the same. So I can have one in the office when I'm making a video for you guys sitting in the office, you'll see this. When I'm making a video out here, you'll see it somewhere behind me. I'll put it up on the wall. But Naomi Williams, thank you very much. I'm going to link her um, website in the description below. If you're interested in any of her work, whether you commission her to do something or buy something pre-existing, contact her. Um, be patient. She's a very, very busy woman and she's only on her own when it comes to making this stuff. Now, while I was there paying for my signs to get delivered, I had a look through the other things that she had and there was an item that, that took my eye. All of this plastic is probably going to be disturbing the audio a lot, so I apologise. Right, let me just rip in. How good is that? That was on a website for sale as well. And I thought, oh, I can't go past a beautiful, modern but aged Harley Davidson sign to hang on the wall. And even on the back, it's signed, cheers, Mark and Nay. So, handmade, beautiful, from Victoria. So, Biker Bits is Mark's YouTube channel and website. Um, I think it's Creations by Naomi Williams, but either way, whatever her website is, it'll be in the description below. Naomi, thank you so much. Absolutely beautiful. They are 
really, really good. I'm so excited. Anyway, guys, that's the video for today. Um, sorry, we didn't have too much going on and I didn't take you on the rides that I've been on lately, but I have enjoyed them. And to be honest, I've enjoyed a bit of peace and quiet on the rides too. But on Sunday, I'm riding my first ever Hogs ride. So with the Sydney chapter of the Harley Owners Group, we're going down to Kangaroo Valley um, in a few different groups of riders because of uh, COVID, of course. But hopefully I'll bring you a video next week about my hog ride on Sunday with the Sydney chapter of the Harley Owners Group. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Consider giving me a thumbs up, subscribing if you like the content that we offer here. Throttle on, stay safe, ciao. All right, team, here we're over at the cupboard where all of my stickers that are going, all of you who are sending me stickers, this is where they're going so they can be seen forever. Let's, uh, let's run through them quickly. So Jimmy's Chop Shop. Uh, if you're in Australia and you're a classic car lover, you need to follow them. That XC Falcon plus a Monaro plus a Roadster are all up for raffle at the moment for a fundraising event. But man, you could win one of those. You could choose either one of those cars or $100,000. And uh, if you're not following them and buying their stuff, you're bloody mad, I tell you. Now we've got Overland Viking just here, the Geared Raven. Um, obviously, Ken Oath. We love our Ken Oath here in the throttle down under garage. And without a doubt, the, uh, the bar and shield has to be there. And now I've got my very cool sign for the wall. Um, Ken Oath. Jimmy's Chop Shop, the Anonymous Biker USA. Another YouTuber that you need to follow. Easy Does It Moto, um, who's been a bit in hiatus at the moment, but he's about to get back into his moto vlogging. The good old Aussie flag and two Kiwi riders. You were right here, but unfortunately it just peeled off. It didn't stick. This is not a very good surface to be fair. Um, so I will have to, um, reinstall you at some stage when I get a chance. But here's Moto G Spot. Let's throw you up onto the cupboard. Maybe somewhere. Let's stick you up here for the moment. There you go G. Top of the chain. And for my lovely home bees, Mark and Karen. Actually where's your bigger one? Here we go. Home bees. This is another YouTube channel that you've got to follow. They're fantastic. They always make me smile. So homebies, let's put you there under the Knoth Bitter. You're here forever now, homebies. Just remember, folks, if you've got anything you want to send me, whether it's something as simple and kind as stickers, or if it's products to review, or anything you want to spend, send on the bottom of the screen right now, you'll see the address. P.O. Box 4122, Bexley North, New South Wales, Australia 2207. Like a bird on a tree